like people are doing a pretty good job.
Now right the second anyways. So, yeah. All right. Yeah. So we're now it's live. So, um, I'm just trying to find my account information for the site. I want to see if it has. So this is the um, similar to what we were just looking at on my computer. Yes, it's it's similar. So hello everybody. We're we're trying to find something um, to plan out the potato chip mine. I know everybody's just kind of tuning in here gathering around um we've so we were uh it's been a couple weeks um we're trying to collect our thoughts again um we were at, at the last time we got together here we we pretty much had a working game and we were discussing like where to take from here so um we're trying to flesh out like uh different types of diggers and how the, the game's going to progress so i had found a, a cool little tool for like essentially like creating index cards um you can move around the screen or whatever, but it's not shareable. So that's what we're looking for now is something that we can do um, and share. Yeah. And I, John, just to let you know, I can hear my voice coming through your headset, like through the, the call back at me. I don't know um, why. I don't believe that's true. I don't know uh, why. You, not, it's got to be on your side then. I have the stream muted. Yeah, but I can see, so I can see the USB mic level, and there's nothing happening when you talk. Hmm. Uh, you know what? Let me do something here. I'm going to stop sharing and reshare again. I okay. wonder if it's because I had computer sounds being shared. Try talking again. Hello. That's better. Yeah, I think because I had the computer sound shared. Okay. Ooh. That's why it was why I was doing that. So. All right. So. There was there was a thing in here when I was looking at it that had an a thing here. So oh, this is what it was. This is why it was. I had some problems with it, right? So you could do like index cards, but it wasn't <laughs> like the. Uh, that's what I, I was trying to remember. Ach achievement? Nope. I before E except after C, right? Yeah. Um. I want to see if I put another one on here. Oop. So, you do okay. So you can. What if I don't want to have these sections? Like you want to have one big board? Yeah. Like if I do this here, and then I. What's oh. that little button down the bottom? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Not quite what I expected it to do. Whoa, hmm. Okay, so <laughs> I gotta be careful because one was zooming when I thought I was scrolling. But I think even like with these, you can change the color of them. Okay. I mean that that works, and we if we could share it, then that's then that's good. Yeah, I think it I think it is shareable. Oh, it definitely is shareable. So like I can do. So like. Yeah. I'll just send it. I, I, yeah, I believe you. I see the link. Now is that is that going to be like a live? Like so, I'll be able to edit it on my end. You know what I. Dude, I have no idea. I guess I, we'll find out. I am not sure. 
Where is the chat button? Oh, weird. Why don't you just drop it onto that other one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, check that out. That's pretty neat. So you could drop... Oh, that's, that's pretty slick, actually. That's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So... So, let's see. So, what was some of the stuff that we were talking about? So, let's... Um, let's talk about what this achievement was going to be. What was... Okay, okay so we can do it at the same time. Excellent. I, I see your little PC. Your yeah, PC. So, so that allows me, if I wanted to on my end, I can copy and paste what I had on my board already. Yeah. I think... Um, can you talk a little bit? Give me a couple of tests there real quick, because I think you're loving Test, test, out. test. I might have been looking away from the mic. No, no, it was I'm... really loud. Oh, okay. That's why I'm trying to adjust for that, because it was weird. All right. Say something normal, like you're not... Um, don't talk into it, like you're... Don't try to make okay. it loud. Just talk okay. normal. So, um, speaking in a normal tone, right. how does it sound to you? I think we're good. All right, cool. So you already got some stuff. So I do. Let me let me open it up and I'll start like kind of pasting them in. Yeah. All right. So let's see. You got. Let me get that standard digger. Now I was starting to try and get involved in doing. Um, I don't know. Different names, I guess. That's fine. I was just trying to get some test stuff here. That did not paste awesome. Oh, you okay. uh, you got to do a new one. So just double click on the white portion. Ah, okay. Now, um, this other one was using a markdown. I guess this doesn't. No. Okay, so I think it actually like pasted it in as a note. Oh, so this is what's interesting. So you can actually do like all sorts of different stuff in the sections. It's actually kind of neat, this storm board. So you can stick all kind of stuff to here, huh? Yeah, because I think what you did is you did a text instead of an index card. So the index card is what I was using for... Okay. Okay, I, can, I guess I can just translate it in there. Why does it not let me put any more text in? Was it only allowing a certain number of lines? Just the first line. Oh, oh, oh. But it put it all on the first line. Weird. Yeah, so. Um, ah, yes. <clears throat> so I was, this whole, okay, let me start typing and you can ask questions. So what is basic solar? Uh, the digger type, it's the unpowered. Okay. So I guess they're blue. So they'd be blue. That's what I was doing. That's, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to start typing. You're going to leave that bot stuff out, so I don't have to. We'll leave that out for now. I wasn't sure about it when I typed it. So. Yeah, so. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you know what? I didn't. Oh, 
That's weird that it stuck it in there. Okay. Huh, okay. Wherever you click, it goes. Cool. Yeah, so I was gonna I was gonna try to get the stream bot going while you're doing that there. Yeah, cool. But I've gotta the only problem with it is that it puts it I can only run it from Visual Studio still. Okay. Yeah, well, well yeah, at least I think is, so. Is that gonna strain the, the system you mean? Uh, it's just extra. I, I gotta just one more program to keep open. Right. Oh, I just had some crazy thunder just come rolling through. It's been like that all day here. Yeah, kind of been similar here, but now it's actually, I think it's actually gonna hit us, hit us. So hopefully we actually have uh, internet for the entire time. <laughs> Yeah, between the two of us, right? I know. It's crazy. Uh, yes. All right, so I had set that up. Oh, let me take this. Let's try to get that up. There it is. Good. That's the name. So this is the one you get, I guess. Let me check my board. Can you do okay. something like where you can copy one of those and paste it so you can just update the stuff in it? How do you mean? Like, like copy the whole... Yeah, could you just like... Uh, yeah, you do a copy on it so that way to do the next ones you don't have to copy on each of those things. Right. Just... How do you do the copy the whole thing, I wonder? So if you, collect the, if you select the top and it selects it over to the right, there's copy slash move to. You see where it has edit, delete, sticky history. Uh, I think come up. Ah, there it is. I oh, see it it's now. probably because I had it selected, <laughs> so we couldn't <laughs> both change it at the same time. And now that's, we know how that works. That's pretty funny. Okay. Yeah, that's fair enough. So there's a copy in here. Sticky history, make regular sticky copy. Copy. Uh, please select. I don't want to copy the whole board. Mm -hmm. Hey, I see one popped over there. It says yeah, new did. on it. Hey, okay. I did it without having to start up Visual Studio. It worked. Oh, excellent. That's fantastic. Yeah, so now I just got to add it to the, the sources here. You know what? I was calling these. I was I was trying to I was trying this on. You can tell me what you think of it, but um, I was calling them cores, like digger cores. So my only concern with that is everything in the game is has it as digger. Yeah, right. So. So let's call them diggers now. Or is that what the blue means, I guess? Yeah, I mean, you can leave it like that. So just like basic solar. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So I was doing greens for upgrades. Ah, okay. Or I had it marked that way anyways. Let's put it that way. Okay, so I had the, the, two, the different... Con I had the color coding on each upgrade. And then what I was doing was... Um, as I had it on the board... Now, I'm open to suggesting the way I had it, though, was where... Um, the upgrade would be like the the hopper, and then the hopper had a bunch of stuff on it. So let me let me allow me to illustrate. Okay. So, of, right, so if I add, so let's say they're like this color, and then it's an index card, and then um, let's go with this guy. I'm actually <laughs> hiding the stream at the moment. Hey, accident there. Let's just do that. Let's say. All right. And that had. Did you say you were hiding the stream? No, no, I was. I, I was covering it up by accident. So okay. So I see what you got here. You got plastic chips bucket. Right, and then there was like a little description here. I have an italics on my board, but. Mm -hmm. And 
this head. Down, down here. No. Why did that pop off? That's weird. Because it's a note. So it's like you're adding notes. Yeah, you can actually... Yeah, you can lift it off. It's weird. I, I didn't realize that would happen that way. Yeah, it's kind of like this is a bunch of containers, and so you can take each thing and kind of put it inside of there and then dig into it. Like, if we had the full version of this, you can actually take one of these cards and open it up to its own steam uh, uh, storm board. So it's like you could kind of like keep <laughs> kind of uh, inceptioning it, like where you just keep digging down further and further. Right, just keep drilling in. Yeah, yeah it could get a little out of hand. And there's no concept of like a list or anything, right? It's just, it's just it is a list. Oh. I guess you could add another. Can you add another card? Well, I mean, are you doing it like? Are you adding it where you just click inside there and then add it to the line? Um, yeah, that's what I was doing. Just clicking on the ticket itself. Yeah, there, I don't know. Well, this one only has one. Hmm. Oh, it's interesting. So it's calling it a sticky. Oh. oh, interesting. So you can switch between a sticky note and an index card, right? So it, it treats um, like the the regular sticky is just kind of like a text. Can you put an index card on an index card? I think so, yeah. Uh -huh. So, like, that's actually what I ended up doing with the achievement by accident. Like, I dropped it into the... But it shows it as a... Yeah, so it kind of comes on and off. <laughs> Very interesting. I wonder if anybody else... I wonder how many people are using this. I guess there's a bunch of people. <laughs> so is this other one supposed to also be called Basic Solo? Solar? No, that was the copy, remember? Okay, I didn't know if you were doing something. No, that was, uh, that is called a Standard Solar. And that has uh, it's got a cost of sixty, and the upgrades farther. Uh, how do you change that? What are you trying to do with it? Make index card. Nice, nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Because then yeah. I can. Put Put the remark in there and say that this uh this guy here zoom in please so when you connected to this did you have to log in and like create an account i did but i just did it real fast okay it was it was pretty quick that's why i was kind of like wait what'd you do yeah, it was pretty painless Hmm. And then I can take that. No? You gotta try, drag it up there. There you go. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah, but it didn't. Wait a minute, no, you. Ch um. So one of these is the old one. Yeah, but you have to kind of hover it over until it, like, kind of connects to it. So this can go. Delete, please. All right. Why didn't I take my? Oh, do I have to actually hit the little checkbox? Maybe. No, no. What are you trying to do? I put words in there, but they're not in there anymore. Uh, you know what? It's you got it. It's because it's in there. It's just in as a note on that, right? So it doesn't like actually put the multiple lines on there. So if you take that, like, pull that text that you have there off. There's nothing to grab, it doesn't. Oh, here, let me try. Oh, 
Why can you share? I can't share. I'm not sure. So, <laughs> I don't know why I can't make this bigger. Nothing like fighting the tools, right? <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Oh, oh wait. What was that? Oh, oh, look at that. Okay, so if you select it, oh, you can't see it. But there's there's an option here to make it bigger. So you can kind of like select it. Also, check this out, though. You can do a thing now where you can actually select this and say, okay, I want to connect it to that. And you can have a little line mm. going between them. That's weird. I mean, I could see where it would be useful. Did you check so... with the... Well, I mean, you can. It's like kind of like doing flowing because it looked like you could actually even on here click, you know, say that you want it to be an error. Oh, that's where they want to charge us some money for you, too. So <laughs> that's all right. So with this being on here like this, I feel like it should be like. Uh, that's the part that's. So here's like the way that it, the kind of the idea behind it is you see over here, there's this little piece to the right that says click the preview. Mm -hmm. So that's what can give you the, the detail. Uh, oh. huh. mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure which is better. Because you could. Hmm. I'm getting bored with this myself. I can't imagine yeah. anybody's having any more fun watching it. Right. Well, so part of the problem is we got to figure out what is it that we want to try to to implement as our first piece. We want to because we've done the portion for the the fact that we can do the chips, um, the chip size, right? So that one we've already kind of done. The next piece was can we do? Do we want to well, change the bit? Oh, wait a minute. Did we do the bit? Well, no, we didn't even do the bit, like the, the concept of how it worked or anything. We talked about it. We verbally spoke about it, but we didn't we didn't do it. I felt like so. So we oh, here's what it is. We put it into the game. So we've got a chip digger bit. Uh, maybe um, we just didn't do anything with it. We haven't added any chip digger bits to it. Right. Right. <clears throat> So all we have are is the standard, the standard bit. But this right. was the, so this here was durability. Was that what we wanted it to be? I feel like that's what we may have changed. Because we were talking about there was the number of of chips you would get per, and mm -hmm. there was the damage that you take per dig. We had a where's where's the drawing? Or the yeah, took a picture of the, the board. Let me take a look at that. Like when we were together, the actual uh, post mm -hmm. Are you asking for me to get it? No, no, I'm looking at it. I'm just describing. I wasn't sure I was clear what I was talking about. Oh, okay. I was like. No, I'm looking for it now. Yeah, so the. Let me see if I have that as well. Want to look for it off screen? I got it. I got it now. Oh, man. I'm going to need to do this. I'm going to need like six computers and <laughs> five monitors. I put it like on a thread so they could put you a link to it. So, so we were changing the yield. That's what we changed. We weren't going to do it. Ah, uh, that's right. Because we were saying that that the durability was still about the 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 core piece. Right. 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 So, right. so digger, that, I thought I remember us changing 
a significant piece of it. Mm -hmm. um, oh, opening. Yeah. Yeah, so we were talking here, got the... So we're talking about different sizes there, and then we we're talking about the digger bit. Yes, so yield was the piece, right? Right. So that means we're going to change the the, the parameters of the roll for the actual dig. Right. Which well, that is going to be an interesting piece here, right? So it is. Let's let's take a look at the code, John. Yeah, we're gonna have to because. I think we dug ourselves into a we went down a direction we didn't need to last time right so we've got um so there's the bit do we want to so do we want durability to be something upgradable i think so I think eventually. I mean, maybe not in the early game, but yeah. yeah. Is is the durability inherently? Uh, let's let's raise it back up. Let's get the the durability back up to the the digger. Yeah, I mean, it can be. Um, maybe it's like a buff kind of thing. I was trying. To, I was trying to think if we should change. I guess the question is what I was whether we should change the. Just the name of the object, because we don't have anything for yield right now. And I was wondering if we were going to want to have something that was going to be specific to durability. Yeah, like what would that be, right? Would that be like armor? Yeah, but armor seems. Yeah, it weird. seems defensive, right? Like it would be like plating. Would yeah. It, it seems it probably would be the bit, right? Durability feels like it would be the bit, but so does the yield. Maybe they're both on the bit. Maybe that's the Maybe. durability that we're talking about is... Well, I think... But durability could be the other components within the... Does everything... Do things have durability? Do components have durability? Oh, like a net durability? Like, like a... Oh. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm kind of getting at... I think you're kind of... Like... Well, you think about <laughs> think about durability in MMOs, right? As silly as it sounds, but like each armor piece has durability. Dude, uh, that's cool, and maybe, but I don't. Just think about what you're getting involved with there, because now you have to be able to repair individual pieces, replace individual pieces, and then in, in order to get the thing running again. Absolutely, absolutely. So. I am not. I am not totally on board with that. I was just bringing it up <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't uh, advocating for it oh you know what I was starting to get into the concept of like a material so maybe on um, the core materials or something but that's not really upgradable that's part of the the body like we were talking that's about yes yeah, that's kind of like the the actual but it you know maybe I mean it does seem like bits would wear out so it seems right. like the durability piece but there's the mechanics maybe, of the... Okay, so so hang on. Maybe we put in the concept of a scoop. So there's something that drills, something that scoops, and a hopper where they go. So the scoop could be the yield. The bit could be the durability. And the hopper could be the amount that you can hold per, like how many digs you get. And then how do we affect the speed? That could be the fuel. That could be the different power sources. And they could be sort of inherent within a range. Um, it could be fuel. Could it be fuel? I feel like so. Yeah. yeah. In a made-up universe, how does it work, right? So, right. Um, yeah, right. Because we can make it up however we want, but it's easier if it makes sense. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's gonna be easier to follow. I was thinking right. that like. Yeah, it feels like the main piece of this is the bit. I'm trying to think about the scooper. So. How... <coughs> so the whole time we've been doing this, I've been imagining the digger being like a, oops, sorry, uh, the digger being like a, uh, like an oil uh, rig. That's how I've always pictured it. And I, I'm starting to think that that analogy or that, um, 
like reference isn't right for this. So I'm trying to like change it. So I'm thinking about the, we got the, the bit. Right, well it's potato chips, right? So you're gonna smash them and then suck them out. Yeah, we'll have a sucker. Yeah, well that's what I was saying, like the scooper, like it'd be like a, like a into the hopper, you know what I mean? And then as we get more advanced, that'll be like a because it'll be powered, you know what I mean? So it'll have some kind of whatever. Yeah. Yeah, no, you know what? And it makes sense too, honestly, because then, because I see the bit as being part of the speed as well, but mm -hmm. the bit might require certain fuel to be able to be used, right? So right. Or, yeah, and the other thing too is you might not be able to use the cheap ones with certain fuel, because if you think about it, like if you were to do that, like in a real world scenario, you can burn out your tools if you have too much torque on, you know, too light of yeah. a bit. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. So, okay, so, okay, so then let's have the, the bit. Um, well, no, so. I know, but the problem is where does the durability go? It still feels like it goes back on the digger itself. Yeah. Do we call it durability? Maybe we change the name of that stat. Maybe that's what's messing us up. Might, but it's, I mean, it's a good name in the sense that it does indicate that you're going to have to repair it, right? Because that's yeah. that's the part that we're looking for. Or do we, I mean, or do we have each of the components have a durability and then you have to either replace it or repair it? I, I could see getting into that later in the game, but I, don't, I just don't want to go in. <laughs> well, we can make these pieces not, the durability is just, you know, infinite. You can make like you could have that as like the beginning where it's like, yeah, this bit's fine. It's not going to have any durability. You basically can use it till forever, but it's so then, worthless fairly quick though. Okay, so when you do a dig there, do you? So you're going to do an individual um, durability roll for each component. It does seem like it. Well, what is grinding down? Let's think about what's breaking. Because the other way around this is I was also thinking about the concept of being able to add um, like bots to it so that they would kind of automatically take care of some of the problem if you kept them fed with bolts and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? So you could kind of work around the other end of your problems. Well, why don't we, so then let's, how about this? How about we do move all the durability back up and we'll just put that, let's do that first. Okay, um, so when the digger digs, it loses some general sense of durability. Yeah, yeah, I think the, we should, I think we should do that. And I, I, I feel like there's gonna be, I feel like we have to do it that way. I, I think for right now, I would like to. What would be nice though is if we could have a, a, a type for it. I think, but I don't know what to call it. Do we just maybe we could just do it as durability. Or how about like service required? So we get rid of that concept of we're breaking something and it's more like having to lube it and oil it and get it back in service. Okay. Like, so what's the um So what would that be, right? Like um Yeah, what's the what's the type for it? Maybe something builds up instead of whittling it down. Maybe we change the way that that works then. Um Okay. Well, I'm okay. I'm okay either way. I'm just trying to come up with the name of the, the type is going to be. Well, I know. And what I'm think I'm trying to think like logically how it'll work to, to try and educate that type. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, so like, what what is it that's happening? What's happening? It's right. digging. It's digging and it's getting grimy, so it needs to be cleaned and lubed, and some parts, whatever they are, some cogs and bushings and stuff is getting worn out. Right. Because now we can actually clean this up a little bit so we get it like that, right? Right. Um, plus, the other thing that we can do, which will be private, is we could actually have some kind of modifier. 
Mm -hmm. So we, that way we can use that as part of our role to say mm -hmm. how quickly or this way you could. I don't know. Let me know when you've. Cause the, this can go either way. I don't know which direction we want it to go. Leave it there for now. I'm okay with it because honestly, the set, like that modifier, mm -hmm. we still might want to have that be part of this because there might be like temporary modifiers that come into play. So we don't want to change the max and let it burn out like that. It's more like just for these next three rolls, it's going to be different. You know what I mean? Take take off some damage. Right. Uh, why zero point two? What's that? Why no. zero point two? No. I I have no idea. I'm just. But I was trying to. Um. You have to put like an M or something on that. Or E. Just something. There's like like a character. There. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm drawing a blank. What's that? Let me look it up. Yeah. Whatever. I'm gonna make it a one. Because <laughs> um, one of the things that we did is we put this. Um, yeah, see, all this stuff is happening here. We want to. I think you were saying to maybe make this as a. Like, need service. It's an F at the end. Go figure. For fun. Uh, who would have thought it? <laughs> um. So needs service. Right. So this is kind of the same thing as is broken. Right. Gonna kind of, I'm going to kind of move this stuff up here. In this mm -hmm. That makes sense to bust it out in old class. Well, this is right now, it's all inside the digger or in the bit, right? And so, so I'm trying to remove some of this. Let's say, um, oh, I see what you're saying because we kind of misfired on it, right? Right. So actually, in the thing here too, I mean, it shouldn't be too bad to get this corrected, right? So we'll just say service. And then this one. Right. Max. All right, that puts us in good shape. Hey, did your bang high peat work? Did you notice? I didn't notice. We switched over to some other stuff. I'm going to do it again. Oh, it worked. You just, well, let's take a moment for you to see it. Oh, my stream like choked. <laughs> so then you missed it there too. Yeah, it's spinning. No. Oh. oh, there it went. Wow, well, way behind. Yep, and now I saw it just happen again too, so. So, yeah, so now I can do this as a durability. I'll do this as durability. <laughs> it did work. <laughs> we... And we need to add it to this too. So we need to get the durability. Oh. That's the. Uh, okay. All right, so we're gonna have to kind of build all these. These don't exist yet. Um. Let's declare that. Um. Auto implemented. Uh, let's move that up actually.
And this is, so we're gonna need a new type for this to do this as a bigger durability state. So we have to bring that down here. All right, and then we have our current. And then we'll have our max. All right. All right, so that's good. We won't need these anymore. So I'll save that out. And then let's go back to... Um, so from here now I need to add a from on this, or that method. And that will actually go into uh, that's right, we're gonna do get state. So let's do a private constructor. All right, so this way we can hide it. And then we'll take um we actually want to be able to take this from multiple ways, right? So we can take in the current. We'll do the max and the modifier. These actually lowercase. Ooh. Right. So okay. we can this we're gonna just do. Oh. I don't know if we have to. Oh, I didn't do the modifier. Uh, at the top level. Yeah. Uh, nope, let's declare it. Do it on implemented. Oh, what did I do? I spelled modifier wrong. I had a feeling I did that when I was looking at it. I'm like, this doesn't look right. But... That's why I added a spell checker to my... Uh... Um... To the... As a piece for it for Visual Studio, so that way it'll give me those little warnings. That's what the little uh, purple under squigglies are. Uh, is that purple? Well, that one was green. That one's green, but the, the gray to me. Might just be the screen share, though. It might be the screen share. Right, so then now I should be able to do turn new ability and then ability. Ah. This, though, I really want to name it state. So we rename that. Boom, boom. This gets us in there good. Uh, Interesting. Yeah. All right. So this looks good. Um, so now on here, this bit state is going to go away. We'll just leave it with a name for the moment. Let's get right, rid of. Yeah. Let's get rid of that. Because we've not tackled any of that bit stuff. No. But we can. We can still it's have okay, a named though. durability or a named uh, bit if we want to. It'll make it look sexy. Alright, so. 
it's actually empty. Ability. Um, there should be a bunch of stuff here broken. Okay, here we go. And it is broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. We changed the name of it to Need Service. And this is service. Oop. Instead of repair. Oh. Yeah, but it's it's actually a new piece, so. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's not a bit. Yeah, because it's not a bit. And right. so then there's. Might a... want to, are we going to want to change that command from all the way from the top? Probably eventually. Um. Repair. Um. Maybe. I forgot this was a state. I was like, ah, yes, current max is going to be 225. Uh, fixing that bug finally. Which bug is that? <laughs> well, because when you, when you first bought them, they'd have a durability of 20, and then after the first time you repaired them, they were 25. Oh. <laughs> That was like from from the beginning, beginning, like when me and me and Val started it. Oh, really? Yeah. That's pretty funny. That still Just may like, happen. It, it might actually. Oh, why are you getting upset about durability? Durability triggered. Oh, because I didn't add a set on here. Yeah, I forgot to make that settable will definitely keep you from being able to set it. Sweet right. point, right? Yeah. So. Digger right. so, state. We got all those goodies. Yeah, digger state's good. Probably want to move that bit state out of there. Just as done as it's getting right now, right? Oh, yeah. You mean into their own files? Yeah. I just didn't do that from the last time, right? Yeah, well, the other thing, too, is, like, we're not doing anything with the bit, so we get out of our face kind of thing. Like, we might mess with this guy some. <laughs> oh, well, I hope so. Um, so the one piece that we didn't do, uh, we got to add a get state to <laughs> our... Yes, yes, you should. Sorry. One of our viewers had a question about their dinner plans. <laughs> That's one way to do it. That's pretty funny. Is that yell feature still in there? I think so, but I, I would have missed it already. I don't think oh. I, I don't think I took it out. Oh, it did, but it had the toast over top of it. Oh. <laughs> Darn it. Oh, duplicate weight object expression. Exception. That's fine. Now we can basically all the stuff that we've done before. So now we need to add that to the get state on the digger. So we have to add. All right. So that uh, that does do. That should fix everything. We'll see. Right. It should run. Oh, but it's not going to. But not. <laughs> it says, no, I will not run. Oh, it's because of the stats. See, this is... Yeah. It's good. I was just trying to think of how we can... I wonder if there's a way for us to... I don't know. 
do something else. Feels like there might be a way of rectifying that without uh, I'm sorry, I was distracted for a moment. Yeah, that's okay, crazy. So that's one of the many spots we did that. Uh, yes. <laughs> it's funny how, how far we took that. What's that? Like the way we bit the digger bit and having all the stuff hanging off of it. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of why I was like, we we did, we we did it, like we implemented it. Yeah, I forgot getting quite so far with it. I was just still upset with that. Ah. So, sure. Oh, okay, good. That's right. It's a state. So, we can do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm like, uh, we can't change this. But I forgot that we did it through the state versus the call directly on it. Mm -hmm. Man, lots of stuff to fix because of it, huh? No, it's just, just got to go through and get them all. I know. I was thinking about it. I was like, that's kind of why I was saying that I feel like there's, we may have missed an opportunity to get that, um, to make that less uh, uh, so binded together. But maybe not because we just moved it. I feel like there's stuff that's calling into something that we shouldn't, I guess, right? So I like there should be something in between there. You're saying like that this piece that you just put in, like that call shouldn't look like that. Yeah. I don't know what the answer is. I'm just saying like it, it feels. Yeah, it'll reveal itself. Yeah. Like there's. Like, there would be an option for us to go the route of using um, extension methods that we could add on to the digger that would allow us to do, like, a, a digger report durability or something like that that would give us that kind of functionality without having to go directly to the hoppers or going directly to the dirt, the, the sub-objects on it. Because then we wouldn't have had to change this piece, right? We would have changed it all in one spot. Right, because there would a layer in there that, that would have protected this portion of it. Yeah. From that change. Uh, I hear you. Yeah. I know. I'm just saying. That was... Yeah. Any more? Oh. But that'll be something for another day. I'll try to figure out how to... Ex Extract that. Yeah, if or it'll or it'll never matter. <laughs> That's the other, could could end up there, but we'll have to see. Yeah. When we start tripping over, we'll fix it. Hey. hey. Well, built. Oops, so I started the game. Uh. So let's go to the store. We need to buy two bigger. Oh, they cost 20. I thought they cost 10. All right. And then uh, go to the control room. We need to equip. Uh, repeat. John. Oh. Look, both scarce. So we're both, both going to dig and move on to the next. Rich density. Oh, 
Hey, at least a normal. I doubt. <laughs> the... A normal solid. Mr. Normal. Okay. Yeah, that's what we were short on. Just diggers. <laughs> How about some lottery action? Empty. I'm trying to use it like it's a command prompt, which I do quite a bit. Like I'm trying to hit the up arrow to like get the previous command. Whoa! Shoot. All right. Um, so. so now we need to go back to the store. I mean, durability seems to be working properly, at least, right? So we're seeing. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're damaged. Like we got broken diggers. Right? So we oh, go we should. Should repair one, yeah. So get get some bolts. Let's buy ten bolts. Now let's see if we can repair Jim. Yes. All right. Oh. Durability is only seventeen of seven. Team? Something's wrong. Oh, the reporting's not right. Oh, it's using the same, just the same value on both sides. Yeah. Yep. Because. Yeah. Um... Yeah, where was that spot? Wasn't this spot? It was like the dig report, wasn't it? There's durability. No, that's the heads up. That's on the top. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh boy. All right, let's see if I can. Might be in the digger, like the digger dig. Um, it does it. It does it, but then it outputs it. Right. It doesn't actually say what that that result is. Yeah, I guess oh, here. Right. Well, this, so this is right. See, that is done correctly. Here it is. Ah, uh, yes. Max. Right, so this was in the digger manager entity. Oh, that makes sense. This is where it does the dig and gets the, the result and then reports out that result. Okay, well, that'll look right now. Yeah. We can. I can just load that up, and we can see it happening. That's why I saved it because it was going to break. Uh... Mikey. Yeah. yeah. There it goes. Oh, Jim's going to need repair. That's kind of weird. What's that? So, Jim needs repair. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it did come out. I didn't see this one here. This is the one I missed. I was like, what can I? I was like, I expected it to be oh, out here. You thought you missed a message? Yeah, like I was like, oh, did, did Jim not get reported properly? Yeah, so cool. Alright, so that's working. So that means we are working. Right. And we're going and we're running. So we've 
gotten to the point where things are working again. Which that feels strange. What's up? He um, yeah. I don't know, you said something. I probably didn't mean to out loud. All right, so we now have... We have a digger durability. I would like to move instead of this like telling it what the damage was I think it'd be nice to have the ah let's leave it for right now we still have all that stuff in the digger itself so you mean that the result you don't want that to be in the result of the dig well I don't this part here where the no, 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 I do want it to be in the result of the dig. But this roll durability hit, and then it gets the durability hit, and then it sends it to the durability to do the damage to it. Like... I, okay, so you kind of pull that all together, you mean? Yeah, like, I feel like that should all be within that durability, since that's part of that there. Okay. Mm -hmm. The part that makes it tough is this here. That the durability is related to the ground. Yeah, on. it is. Yeah, which is another part of the game we have to address someday. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, so so we got that. So let's try and put something in then to be able to enhance it. Yeah, like what? We'll add yeah. an achievement and a for durability. You know. No, yeah, we're, we I thought we wanted to do. I thought we were going to leave durability for right now, and we were going to. Um. Do the dick the bit for you ah uh, for the yield you're correct john i'm sorry you're right we were going to talk about yield we but... moved durability because we had to because it was already in the bit so that's why i'm right. thinking we want to go back and, and address right so we're we pulling all that out of the bit not out of the digger My bit. right I gotta get a little confused. okay so so for the bit though um we want to adjust the yield so so how do we do that right yeah, so there's a bunch of things that go into the decision about yield, right? Because we have the um, a chip density, mm -hmm. right? So we have this this mine site chip density. Mm -hmm. um, right now, it takes into account nothing else, and yeah. then we have um, we're gonna want to take the bit into account. Right. So so when there's so a regular bit that it comes with is just kind of zero. Now, mm -hmm. do we want to like add a percentage to the range or do we want to do an additional bonus roll on the end? It's a very good question. You know what I do want to do though before we get into that. Let me Commit uh, my changes here for that. Good thinking. Yeah, I just want to. From bit to its own class. There we go. All right, now we can start from All scratch. Right. All right, um, second hour, hour, second cup of coffee. <laughs> uh. Man, I can't drink coffee this late. It's, it's crazy. Won't be awake now if I don't. I actually didn't get the sleep I would like to last night either, so I'm a bit tired as well. Feeling that. I don't know about you guys, but we stay up talking about all the, the stuff going on a lot. <laughs> uh, Christine's so busy right now makes it she's basically works until like 10 o'clock at night and then goes to bed and gets up and starts at six o'clock so 
that stinks. It's been rough here. Yeah. She's trying to get through this so she doesn't have to deal with it. And, you know, she's got somebody working with her now, so. But she's just starting, so it's still like, you know, yeah, it just takes time to get it really uh, helping. <laughs> so. Yeah, sometimes you're a little worse off for a little while. That's. I, it was funny because I was trying to explain that. Cause she hasn't really had to do this before, and I was like, uh, it's hard because you're like, I could just do this by myself. And like, yeah, that's true. It's like, but in a month, you're not going to be able to <laughs> do all of it. Yeah. Yeah. And if you take the time now, you won't have to either to train yeah. somebody. <laughs> so I'm here's what I'm thinking about, right? Okay. I feel like there's going to be situations where we would want both these numbers to go up. Right? Like a factor. Right. But then I think there's going to be other times where you're going to want like this to go down and this to go up. Like, I, I feel like there's going to be situations where both numbers are going to go up and down by a certain amount. But I think you could have situations where you have the gap, the range get bigger. Mm. You think? I, well, I guess what I'm getting at is like, so this one that's scarce, scarce. Do you think the zero, well, zero is never going to go up. Zero is always going to end up being zero if you do it by a factor. Right. Right, because anything you multiply is going to. Yeah. Zero I, I guess the question is really, do these go up at the same, like, do these change at the same rate? Uh, yeah, right. And I feel like it sort of depends on the buff, right? Correct. So, but, but I don't see the, I don't see the bottom going down. Can't well, it may not go down, but it won't go up, may not go up as high as the, the max. Yes. I think we may want to apply each factor independently. Is that what you're getting at? Yes. Yeah. I, I could get on board with that. I just, I don't see that first factor. Like, I don't see us making the bottom lower. I don't see any, like a debuff, but maybe. I, I don't know. I, I don't, right. I don't know. That's what I was saying. I, I just, I yeah. think that that's a, a possibility. Right now with these three land types, maybe not, right? Because these are just like base, if these are just base numbers in a sense, like they're really not going to get necessarily lower than that. Well, yeah, well, I mean, I, that's why it's even in that enum right now because it's so basic. But, right. But I mean, are we going to want to have something greater than rich at some point? Like, are we going to want to be able to have, like I, as the game gets bigger, like are you going to get to a point where you want to have 10 different types of density i don't know right right and should that honestly should rich be the factor instead of the value and then the the the, the values sit on the digger i don't know you know what i mean so as your digger gets better it would just get uh, uh without buffing it in a particular direction um like evenly better i'm sorry say that again like if if instead of the 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 way that this works, that if you're in scarce, like that's where the it's basically the range on the roll, right? Right. And that's the number of chips that come out, right? Yes. Um. So, I'm trying to think about like so. I feel like if we were to try and distill down what we need for roll chips, right? We would actually need the mine site, and we would need the and the bit, right? Right. And it's basically a combination of those two to come up with what our result is. Right. That is correct. What if I almost feel like so what, I, so what I was trying to think is do we make it a function of the bit? Or do we make it a function of the site? I'm thinking site. So what I was what I'm thinking is that we would have 
a message that we could send to the site that says dig I give it a dig with a modifier so yeah so if we leave those ranges the same and we just add a multiplier mm -hmm. to each side of it A single modifier is not going to get the job done. No, no, we're going to need two. Yeah. Well, we didn't even have, I mean, really, there, I was doing modifier because that's what we had on the durability, but it's not really, it doesn't have to be that, right? We could do, uh, we could have a min modifier. That float max modifier. Right. And then on the site, it would take this stuff into consideration for these values. And maybe what we do is we actually create, you know, a mine site and then have different mine site types. Like actually, um, like have a base of mine site and then that's an abstract that we could then have the other ones where the, these they get these values for them. Hmm. See, that's that, that's what I was saying. I wonder if that. Oh, I don't know how to do the math though. I'm trying to think of how this would work mathematically, where if you if, if that site instead of being instead of being a two 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 integers, that's a that's a, a span. Mm -hmm. What if it what if it was like twenty five percent? You know what I mean. So like if it was scarce, it's only a twenty five percent chance of like whatever whatever the roll is, you to, to, pre, to take it down to only twenty five percent of it. And at normal, you get 100, and at, at rich, you get like 150% or something. And then the roll itself would be handled by that bit, so that as your bit gets better, the number will go up and then just get applied to the site. Does that make sense? I, mm -hmm. I Okay, because I can't quite wrap my brain. I can't build the machine that's going to do that in my mind. But I feel like that seems cleaner if I can... I don't know. That's what I got. Do, so, do you have? All right. I'm trying to think. So what we're going to say is that the bit would have a min and max. Yeah, sort that of. That could dig. And then the mine site would define how likely that is going to have a chance of finding something. Right? So, because that's, I think, what we would have to do is we would have to have um, a range for the bit like what it, the bits capability of digging is like what's right. its yield capability right because that's what we're upgrading so like logically it makes sense right mm -hmm. and it's what we're trying to do we're just we're doing it a different way right but i think the way that you're talking about it will make it easier to deal with right okay yeah because yeah we, that's why i was taking the time to struggle with it like, like that because i was like i feel like there's betterness in here okay yeah. So, I think, and then we can actually, then we can switch this around, and then this would be more like a dig um, with, uh, a density. Right. So, right. yeah, because then we're now going to give it that information, which will tell us what that density could be. Right. So, so we, that gives us our core factor and then we apply the dip to it. The yes. bit to it. When we right. did. Because then here we're going to be able to then have. Um, uh, let's let's do. Um, I want to just do a range. Actually, we're going to do it as in int range I want to is that an actual type it doesn't look like oh it. no it's okay um I'm just gonna do call it a range do you have to make I, that yeah I feel like we're gonna have a bunch of these situations we could actually you know what why don't we just do this uh, I like that 
Let's make it generic. Let's go for it. Um, Gosh. Look at me not remembering how to do generics. <laughs> so I, what I needed to do is I want to tell it that it's going to have to be a... An inner fluke Yeah, like a... Uh, uh, I'll come up with it at some point. We need to, it needs to be something that we can do the the comparison with. So we can do so that's why I'm trying to figure it out. But uh, we'll do it as a T min. Oh, look at this. This is the kind of stuff that I always end up catching myself on. I'm like, I know what it is I'm trying to do, mm -hmm. but I don't remember the... Yeah, the exact syntax. I know. Yeah. I think this is right. Yeah, okay. So I didn't need... I, I was like, I didn't think I had to put the T down here, but I felt like I was going to run into a problem here. Um, so at least that okay. now will be... Range, change. <laughs> yeah, I missed the delete on it. So then I can just pass that range. Hint. Um, range. All right. This will allow us to do so. That here's the thing. Here, so part of the reason I was doing this right is there's some stuff that i want to i think we're going to want to be able to do with these types of things that's why i want to move it out into its own piece um and we're going to have a lot of min max stuff and I, so I feel like we're just going to end up overloading a bunch of stuff with two pieces when we don't need it mm -hmm. um this we can actually do some we can add some range math to this this will also be immutable so it'll we can create a bunch of immutable functions around it so I think it's a good value type for us to have. Right. And with all those roles that we're doing, fair enough. Yeah. So the only thing with this is that we're going to need to have... Oh. I wonder if we should do a range state. Ah, it feels weird. We're putting that in the state? As its own... Uh... Like it's its own state piece. Well, I mean, state essentially means we're going to save it in the context of this game. So I guess it matters. It makes sense. No, no. I guess what I was getting at is having this as its own state type. Right? So have it as a range state. Oh. Hmm. I want to do it like this first. Whatever you think's best, John. <laughs> <laughs> On that one. <laughs> Whatever you think's best. I don't know what's best. Yeah, we just try it out. Get a feel for it when it's in there. Yeah, I can change it as we do. I keep trying to hover your red squiggles out to see what's wrong, and it doesn't work. Oh. Nope, it was just because I hadn't created those yet, so. Alright, so we now have this range in here. So now we want to be able to... This is where we want to be able to now add that... Um, the dig result. Alright, so we want to say dig, and we're going to have 
a density. <laughs> I'm your density. <laughs> now, now the dig result at some point could be full of lots of things besides chips. So keep that in mind. I could definitely envision that as being part of the game in the future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a bag. You know what I mean? Yeah. It is a bag. But let's let's stick with the chips for the moment and get this working in, okay. in that regard first. So I just wanted to point that out. Yeah. Well, because we're going to have to change the way that those those uh, sites work, too. They even have a, a destiny. Yeah, Destiny. <laughs> uh, so, let's see, we were doing the thing here. I can I actually just do it? Do we want... I'm trying to debate on how do we want to make this... Uh, the randomizer work, right? Okay. Because you can do it like this. The only thing is this makes it harder for testing. So I'm not sure... I think I'm, well, we'll come back to this one, because I'm not sure how, to, how we want to deal with that. Right. Well, all right. So, so well, and I'll tell you. So, because one of the things we can do is, if we with a random, we can give it a seed number, and that seed number will dictate every value. Um. Wow, it's, yeah, so, um, yeah. so now we can actually do range. That density is going to be the the multiplier, right? I think we need to do this. If that, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So this will give us that that same result, right? Um, So now instead of here, we want to, we can get rid of this and just need to have a way So that just return that would just be a like a, a decimal value, right? Or float in this mm -hmm. float is still okay. So instead of returning that random, you would just return uh, whatever no. you decide that to be like 0. 0.5. Yeah. I know I'm I'm feeling weird about doing it here, so that's Oh, okay. That's actually what I was I was debating with, right? So, because this is going to be like what we would have here, and then this would be um, uh, like that, right? But what I wanted to do was I wanted to make it so that these values here, oh, this is actually, uh, um, A 
it's going to have to round. What's going to have to round? So when we, like, this can't have half chips. Oh, right. This is just a factor. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying when we kick it out, I was just seeing it. That's why it's an integer. That's why it's an integer. Right? Yeah, 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 right, right. That was actually part of what this, um, oh, it's in a different file. Yeah, you did uh, that cast. Yeah, that's why this cast is happening here. Right, right, right. right. Now, we could actually do this as... Right, so that'll round it up. Yeah. Or you could do it like absolute as well, because maybe we just want to take off the decimal. So that... You know what I mean? Or actually, that just takes the sign off. It takes the decimal off. Right. Well, why does it not like... it still comes out as a flute that's what i'm saying i think that that removes the sign no uh yeah yeah, yeah. we're trying to that's why i was kind of surprised round doesn't work yeah it's um it's not it's the um oh stupid math well if we do if we just cast it to an int that just drops the decimal place Okay, so I'll just lop off that precision. Yeah, regardless of whether it's... Okay, well, that's fine. That's kind of what we were talking about, right? You can't have half a chip. Yeah. You know what? We're going to run into... I wonder if we're going to run into an issue with this. Ugh, this is messy. Oh, that might have been why this wasn't working, actually. Because this, I think, needs to be cast as a float. Oof. Oh boy. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe it doesn't need to be a float. Can you look up real quick what is recommended for um, So you want to see like the type to use for what? Like, uh... We're doing like percentage. I feel like float's the right type for it. Let's see what Stack Overflow says. Stack Overflow says decimal. You won't lose precision due to rounding. That is true. The answer is application dependent, says the less popular Stack Overflow. Because who wants another question? Yeah, Brent. <laughs> Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> Rounds a decimal value to a specified number of frict fractional digits. Rounds a double precision floating point value to the nearest integral value. Why is it outputting as a double? That's the part that I'm surprised by, that the round is all doubles. It is weird. Right? And then this one goes to the nearest integral value, but returns a decimal. I mean, this seems like what we want, except the fact that it... It doesn't like it. What is it saying it doesn't like about it? What can it do? Um, I'm not sure what you're... What's... Oh, okay. I was looking at the red squiggles to see why it was... Oh, well, that's because... That round, but that was the cast. I just saw it change. So. Yeah, well, the problem is is that 
I don't have any option to, for a round to output an integer. So the only output it can give me is a double, which I don't really understand why it goes to that size. Um, so that's why I ended up having to reduce it. But I don't like it. I thought I didn't, but I was running into other weird issues, so. Well, that looks better. Yeah, still not real happy with it. Yeah, but it's better than all those freaking parentheses. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? Scattered throughout. So the, here's the part that's going to be interesting, is that we don't really know what that means, right? So we'd have to... Um, let's go to our... our bit state here. Oh, that's not where I wanted to go to it. Um, on the digger. Yeah, we have to define it, right? Yeah, like if we wanted... So on... Uh... How do we get... I don't even know if we can get to where zero is an option. So... On that first one, right? So we would, because I think what we would, so trying to get, so my thought is trying to get the standard one to do what we want, right? Mm -hmm. um, right, because you can never roll out the way we have the math going to zero. It's impossible. Yeah, it's impossible to go to zero, which is fine. So, I mean, we could have a min of, um, what was it, four? So we do something like five, and the max was eight. Uh, no. Uh, for the small, for the small one, was it eight? It was no, like I, thought the, eight. I thought the. Oh. Is that three? No, it's not D. Um, it's M, I think. M. Yeah. There we go. All right. So what I want to do is I wanted to look at I want to see what that looked like before. So let's go to our changes here. Oh, so 25 was the max. All right. So 25 was the max, and eight was the max on. What's the uh, okay. on the rich, right? So what that would mean for us here is we'd want the, the min max to, the max min <laughs> to be <laughs> uh, that makes it tough <laughs> to say. Um, right, so that's like our standard because that was the, the median. Right, and so then that, to get that we would make this one. Um, yeah, so you get the full dig. Yeah. So, if we take 25, we multiply it by 0 0.2. Um, oh, why am I in the programmer one? Just a regular one. I can tell you're programming. So, 5, which was, uh, it's pretty close to what we had. Right. So five would be the max. Yeah. Okay. Eight times point two. So one, two would be the the min. So I think that puts us in a good spot with there, right? With the numbers that we had. So okay. let's try, let's try doing the other one. So we do twenty five times point uh, five. All right, so that's a little high. Um, but eight times 0.5, and that puts us a little high too. So maybe we do 0.4, right? So let's do 25 times 0.4. That seems better, because then eight times 0.4, that'll get us to the three. So we just have, right. we end up having a bigger range, I think. 
I think if these had been done linearly, linear, 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 linearly, linearly, yeah. there we go. A little too many L's. I think mm -hmm. that would, these would have been the same, like similar numbers. Right. So. Yeah. Up. Well, I mean, the game wasn't like highly tuned either. So I, I wouldn't yeah. kill yourself over it. But. Oh, no, I understand. I was, but I'm still trying to keep it within the, the scope of the stuff that we were trying to do, you know what well, I mean? We can, yeah, we can kind of tell our success that way too, because <laughs> there's there's seemness to be had. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Just not run. Is that our unit tests? Yeah. Because I have a feeling this stuff that we're changing is going to break it. Not too bad. Makes sense. Yeah. So those ranges need to be adjusted, really. Uh, should be greater than or equal to three, but with zero. Whoa. No, zero. no, 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 no. I think that's a completely different issue. Yeah. What's up with zero? Maybe that digger's not right? I don't know. Let's try... Uh, let's do one of these. We'll debug it. the air and it yeah so what we missed is that on here we don't have the the min yeah, set, actual right? values yeah. so we were doing eight and max was equal in 25 so this should actually so that what that does change though right so this one is was less than or equal to 10 uh I mean, it's scarce. Oh. Uh, okay, so these weren't like right at the. Right, well, let's try this again. So this should. Now give us that capability. Whoa. Oh, just one. Probably the zero, because we can't have the zero. That's the one that failed, it says. No. The weird part was that the value... Oh, it should be less than. We'll was nine. Quick. It came out at nine, huh? That does seem weird. Seems very weird. Well, wait, no. Yeah, wait yeah. a minute. Why would it come out at nine for scarce? Yeah, let's uh, let go into here. Let's let's put our breakpoint on this. Maybe we need to see 
what what was causing that problem. Um. Wait a minute. I'm saying it's normal. Oh, this is normal. Oh. Well, that'll cause it. How'd that happen? How did that ever pass? Well, it's it's a random, right? So. Yeah. Maybe we just got really lucky. <laughs> and Yahtzee. Okay. Maybe we did. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how to... Let's try run with coverage. And we have 15% coverage. Hey, it's room to grow. Yeah, right? Oh, look at that. I got my code coverages over here. I'm going to put it in my peep window. Look, there it is. <laughs> oh, something broke this time. Oh, that's right. You know what? Oh, wait a minute. Scarce just deals between zero and three. Oh, you know what? It actually did go lower. Why is this three? Well, that's... That should be zero. And this should be four. Yeah, what was up with that? Right? Maybe that's why I, we were... I think that test was just all funky. Yeah, I think that was a copy and paste deal. From yeah. normal. So it should be less than or equal to five. Huh. Yeah, so our core only has 11% code coverage. <sighs> it shouldn't be, doesn't need to be 100%, but 11%. Well, we could do better than that. We figured out how to do it, so. Yeah. Just haven't done it. I, I'm just waiting on you, Pete. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff you don't have to wait for the stream to do either. Yeah. It's so much we, more fun to put like, achievements in. We're, we've been very busy. <laughs> yeah, we have been very busy. We're talking to ourselves, I think. That's I think okay. It's me, and the, me and the bot point but yeah we're talking but, to people you know, in the I, future i saw i saw uh, scott jump on at one point because now that i've got the the thing going for the stream bot like it um uh it pops up when people jump in like i see the little messages uh right right and it probably happens real time for you on the, the... real time ish the web page itself yeah, real time mesh, right? Cause remember it was taking that like three minutes or something like that, or before it would show up that somebody joined. Yeah, when we were working on it at the, the conference. Mm-hmm. All right, so let me try to let's get these repaired. Uh, I have to go to the control room. Then we're gonna repair Jim. Let's try uh, repair Jim. Hmm. Well, three is going to be hard, isn't it? Who can I empty? Let's see. Oh, Pete keeps digging zero. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a scarce. Yeah, but zero shouldn't have even been an option. That's a little weird. Right? I feel like it's doing it every time. It keeps taking a damage. <laughs> Hold on a second. Let me bring this up again, right? So, eight was our our max number on that, right? For the standard digger. Mm -hmm. So, min was eight. So, so eight, eight, 
the lowest max. Lowest maximus. So that should have. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break point on this again. Is it possible it's because we didn't? Uh, do they not have the, the bit set up right? This whole game. Yes. Okay. Yes. That Start is a new insane. game. Yeah, that's why. Because remember, that's why we were rolling zeros in the test, as well. Yep. yep. That was. That was it. I gotta delete all my games. Oh, bummer. So much time invested. Huh. That was some great instructions. All right. By two. Eh, that's by three. And then that's by. Go to control room. And then that's equip. Uh, stand. Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> what would his Slobby. username be? Slobby. <laughs> Sam. Oh, look. It's nice. We got one of each. Go figure. And so lobbies are rich. Okay. Yeah, so it's it's digging. That rich is not producing like you would think, but oh, there's one. There's one. Two's good. Yeah. Morning time. Yep. So that is, I mean, that seems to be doing what we expected it to do. Mm -hmm. It's got the. Yeah, I mean, and Stan got got full first, so. Okay. So I think it's working. So if we added like a different bit, then in theory, we should be able to put it on and dig more chips. Absolutely. And it, and it does the, it does the math, right? I think this is, this is pretty good. Like this gives us some okay. room to work with. Well, let's just, let's throw a bit in the store so we can like set that up. So we can just buy it, make it like 10. You know what I mean? We don't have to hook it to the achievement all. Yeah, that's fine. Um, shoot. Look for the store. Yeah, I was trying Game to... Boost. I'm not even sure. I think there's a... Sir. Yeah, a factory. Yeah, so you could just add it right there. But we still have to equip it. Right? So that's the... Mm -hmm. So what I think we actually need to take a look at is the achievement. To see how it happens. Yeah, where are our achievements here though? Shoot, which one was it that did it? Because I thought it was. Uh... It was the, the. It was this. It was for the the, the chips. There it yeah, is. Yes, here it is. Okay. So we have this new store item reward. Um. So you got to see how that happens, right? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to. Okay, so the achievements actually get, like, fired in the game loop. So that they do their thing. Yeah, there's this here. That's why I thought, like, this... Oh, I'm trying to remember how this Yeah, works. I know. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. So we did... Uh... I remember us doing a thing to make it possible. 
So there was like a... Um, There's an yeah. achievements builder. Was this? Is it in here? No. Yeah, I think there's statics in here that, that actually spit it out. You well, see, that's... there's that new inventory achievement. Yeah, this is where it adds it to here, right? So let's look at where this is getting called so we can... All right, so this is getting added to that. Let's see. Let's, let's look at all the references for that, right? Um, okay. Short list. Uh, a very short list. I think that's because. No, not there. This is on the minor. Right. Side. I thought it was a service. It is a service, but we looked at the achievement service, right? Well, there's an achievements builder in the services. And, and that doesn't have very much. Um, is, is it in the game achievement? Ah, here's an apply reward. All right, uh, so yeah, so now we have cool. this rewards, right? So that's getting there. So now we got to go to this. Oh, that's an achie high achievement award. Items for sale is going to be a this. Because it's also a store item. Right, it hurts from store. I remember doing that. It's a little weird, but it, it works kind of nice. But we might want to refactor that. Okay. I'm, I'm more trying to... Well, the part that I'm unsure about here is... Um, in this... So now, all right, so now that we had that, now we had a command, though, that was... to upgrade right because the upgrade that takes it out of your inventory and puts it into play right and that yeah it's a control room oh I hope it's not the it. there's where it was so upgrade handler entity where are you all right, so that's the scene. So we need to go to that scene, right? Because you got to get the name and then. Right, because it does this whole dialogue piece. Oh, yeah, this is that, that first pass, second pass shit that I had to do. Yeah. Stuff. Sorry. <laughs> beep. Yep, I have beep. to get the a beep button for you. Um, you don't have any if you find it by upgrade. Um, Not sure this would even work anymore. I think it will, but do we still do slots? Mm-hmm. Okay. This stuff is still there. That's actually what's going to make this so it's not going to work. Like it's going to be hard for us to do it. Um. I think you might need to try playing with this offline a little bit. Like I, f I feel like we could kind of get it to work. We would just yeah, have you to... Yeah. Get a hard code up another thing, basically. 
Well, yeah, exactly. Well, either that or we can eliminate the the requirements on it. We can just do, you know, bit. Right. And so now we'll have two slots to upgrade. Um, right, so you can add another case in there. Oh, man. Yeah, it's a little... Yeah, it was kind of... This part kind of got shoved in a little. Yeah. Maybe that's what we should... Uh... Maybe we should come back and look at this piece. Because we did break it apart a little bit to make it somewhat easier, because we have this test upgrade... this even used? Oh, it is. Yeah, I think we need to come back and visit this piece. Maybe I'll try to look at that this weekend to see what it is that we can do. Because I think part of the the problem, not the problem, but the, the thing that we're doing is we have this, this upgrades here, which is what actually is defining right this is taking that Yes. Yeah, so it's a, it's a little tricky. Yeah, this this needs to be straightened out because I kind of remember working on it, and, and this was kind of jammed in at the end, sort of like what we're doing now. Now that we got that bit in place, I wanted to get the hopper doing it. Yeah. So it's sort of forced it in. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to come back and try to address that. I'm gonna I'm gonna push up these changes here because I think there's. I think it's doable. I think it's just got to be rethought around that piece. Mm -hmm. But now that we yeah, have it in there, like there's that, room in there too. I think we'll be able to do it. We just gotta get it right. Yeah, I think um, I think some of it also is gonna come back to whether we want to do it through like those upgrade slots that you have, or we want to do it through like the requirements on the upgraded upgradable item kind of a thing. Like, so the item has the requirements on it. Right, and then we test the digger that you're yeah. trying to apply it. Or, yeah. the, or the, yeah. Yeah, so, um, adds, add digger, bit, uh, properties to improve yield. All right those changes up yeah i think actually that's pretty good that we got that in there so we got the other thing moved out we got the mm -hmm. um we got the the way that that roll happens is better yeah the way the dig the dig roll happens so we now have that the ability to do that that capacity piece yeah i think this little. this is great i mean honestly one of the things i would like to do that maybe we can talk about is you know, now make mine site. Maybe it's um, make it a full uh, right instead of just this weird little enumerator. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Because I think mine site right now is is it it's a type at least. We just have two enumerators on it, right? So I'm wondering if chip density itself should be that um, that value. Right, um, right. The factor. Yeah, maybe chip density should be a, a name value pair or something. Yeah, but because we show it as well. Mm -hmm. So so that. Right, yeah, exactly. That's kind of why I was thinking that we may need to have both. Um, I think next thing is that we're going to need to look at is, honestly, is going to actually end up being the site hardness, right? Because that's the piece here that defines um, the durability, right? And I think we should do it very similar to the way that we did... The, uh, the density. 
Right, right, where it's a factor, and then we apply the factor to the roll. Yeah, exactly. But it'll actually go in the opposite direction, right? It'll reduce. Or it could, well, I don't know. I, I guess we'll have to see. But it's the same idea. I think it should work similarly. And then that way we can tell the um, the durability portion of it to do its thing. Right, you're saying it was a good because it would mitigate damage. I'm sorry, I was trying to... That last thing you were saying is it would do it in reverse. I was like, what? Well, yeah. Yeah, because you'd be blunting damage. Yeah. And I think this would... I think that'll be good. I like this. I like this change. I think this, this change makes sense and gives us the ability to be able to upgrade both pieces, right? That's the thing that I think is the neatest about this, right? So what we've just done is, like, now we have these three... We've made it really simple to change how that happens, right? So we can make the the mine site have its own way of improving and have the bit changing its own way of improving. And then you can bring them together to come up with a, a matching result, which gives you a, a expandability that you wouldn't normally get. If we were, had left it the way it was, like we would have lost some of that. Even if we right. just did it as a factor on just those min and maxes down here, it seems to make more sense this way. It even makes more sense as you think about it. Yeah, yeah, the, it, it makes more logical sense. And it's more like algorithmic, you know, I mean, where you can plug in the values and just it just comes out. So. Yeah. Cool. cool. Well, I think that will be it for tonight. Indeed. All right, thanks, everyone. All right, uh, good night, everybody. All right, Pete, I'll catch up with you later. All right, man.